Um, I met a guy. Welcome back to my channel, I'm Carolyn. As you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me for a date, question mark. I feel like I have never done anything like this. I have done a get ready with me in like a vlog. I remember it was like a day in my life and at the end I was going out, so I did a get ready with me, but a really quick one and I didn't really show you any of the products I used, but I thought I would do one today since I don't know, I'm going out, so I was like, I'm gonna get ready. I have my uh, cat here with me and she's playing with my jewelry, so. Hey, quiet on set, please. Can you say hi? As I was saying, I have a date in approximately an hour and a half. I think it's almost 12 right now and I'm supposed to meet him at 1.30. And I have to do my makeup, do my hair and pick an outfit and then drive over because the spot we're meeting at is in his area, which is not that close to me like 20 minutes away so am i going to be late most likely so i think i'm just gonna get started and just talk as i get ready because i just know i'm going to be the worst at multitasking so i just <laughs> I want to get started. Um, I'm going to go in with the ordinary natural moisturizing factors in hyaluronic acid moisturizer just because I have dry skin. I have the worst dry skin, especially ever since I moved to uh, Oregon. So oh, I forgot to put my hair up. I'll do it right now. Oh, some interesting things. Some life updates, I should say. If you couldn't tell already, I uh, redid my hair color. It's blue now. I'm no longer perfect literally if you look back at the past like five videos you could just see the purple fading more and more and now it's blue <laughs> i uh, honestly didn't even plan on doing blue i think i wanted to do like pink green blue is an option i just if i'm gonna be completely honest i feel like it doesn't match me but please please let me know because i am pretty not upset but not happy with the color but i think it's gonna grow on me also let us not speak on the hair staining that the blue did quite embarrassing but i know it's gonna go away in a bit um okay i need to hurry up i'm taking way too long where is my sponge found my sponge okay i'm gonna go in with this la girl pro conceal concealer in peach corrector i use this all around my eyes because as you can tell i have the worst freaking darkest eyes ever because i get approximately one hour of sleep every day <laughs> i'm just kidding honestly such a game changer. It's actually new. I added it to my makeup routine just like last week. Also, another update. I burned myself. I don't know why I feel like I have no life updates, even though I do. I actually do have life updates. I just don't know where to begin, you know? What's next? Oh, I know. I forgot a prime. It's okay. I'll do that right now. I use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. <sighs> At least I only put that color correcting concealer. I was just about to go straight in with a tinted moisturizer and I was like, I'm missing something. I always do something before this. Um, and I kind of just put this all over my face. This is low key, like a holy grail also. I don't know. I just have the worst luck with primers. And ever since I found this, I was like, this is so good. Like it makes your face so freaking smooth. Okay, cool. Done with that. Now I can go in with my tinted moisturizer. I have the pretty fresh tinted moisturizer and I just apply it directly to my face and then hear me out this is very crucial I use the MAC prep and prime spray um literally almost out I don't know if you can see that it's like nothing left um I need to buy more but I go in with this I just feel like it's really good at getting like that dewy look I really like I don't know because I'm just my skin is so dry that um it can look very dry once I put makeup on, like dry patches will be very visible. So uh, that setting spray helps a lot. It's setting spray if you did. I mean, it's like primer slash setting spray, but I use it as a primer mostly. It helps, okay? Trust me if you have dry skin. And then for concealer, I use, kind of wish I like grabbed all my items before starting. This is, I hate 
the e.l.f. camel concealer for this reason. I mean, it's a really good concealer. It just is so messy and gooey at the cap. It's the worst. The applicator is the worst, but very good coverage. I either use the e.l.f. camel concealer, like I said, or the uh, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Kind of depends on the look. I feel like I aim for NARS whenever I go out and I use this on a daily basis. So I might stick to this just because we're getting lunch and I uh, feel like I don't need like a nighttime lip, you know? Like, let me see if I can... Literally, why is there so much product there? I hate the applicator, it's the worst. And I thought it was just me until I found out that like every camo concealer is like this, which sucks. Okay, and then I just put concealer there and then blend it out and then kind of go over any spots I feel like I missed. And then before like blending, I kind of let it sit and I opened my Laura Mercier um, setting powder and then grab. Yeah, so I grab this and just have it ready for when I need to start um, setting my concealer because my concealer creases ASAP. Okay, now that I've blended that out, I'm gonna set. After that, I usually start doing my brows. And I fill in my brows with a NYX eyebrow pencil. I use Espresso if anyone cares. Honestly, I feel like I don't really need to do much to my brows just because they already have like a natural shape and they're already pretty filled. <laughs> I just darken them if anything. Sometimes when I fill in my brows, I can't really see a difference and I'm like, why did I do that? Do you guys see a difference? Actually, I think I see a difference. Question mark, debatable. Honestly, I don't really have like a routine. I just be putting everything on and calling it a day. Um, I go into my Physician's Formula Butter Collection palette. Freaking love this palette so much. Let me show you it. Ooh, it's kind of musty, but. <laughs> There's bronzers, blushes, and highlights. I go into this bottom color. It's called Sunset Bronzer. It's my favorite. I feel like the only reason people are here is to hear about my date and how this even came to be. Cause truly who the heck wants to watch me do my makeup? <laughs> I feel like I'm no beauty guru. You know what I mean? So I will talk about it in a bit. I'm just trying to focus. I think I want to do my eyes next. I'm going to go into my favorite palette ever. This is like pretty limited edition though. So if you don't have it, you just don't have it. I apologize. <laughs> but Kendall by Kylie Cosmetics, my favorite palette ever. Look at these colors. So freaking pretty. I have literally never tapped into the colorful side, but I really want to. Not today though. <laughs> Maybe another day I'll be adventurous. I usually go into the pinks though because I love the pinks here. I love these two colors. They're just so cute. So I'll go in with the lighter one. You're tiny and cute. That's what it's called. And I kind of just put that all over the lid, you know. I'm going into the darker color, um, the darker pink I showed you. It's called Love You Sister. And I'm putting it in my crease. And I kind of just blend that into the lighter pink I just did. I feel like this is my go-to look very often. Like this is probably my everyday look. I don't know why. I just love how pink looks on eyelids. Okay, I feel like I might go back in in a bit to like darken it up, but for now I feel like this is okay. And then... Oh, I didn't even tell you what I was doing. <laughs> I'm going in to this, this one, this sparkly shade called November 3rd. I think that's Kendall's birthday. She's a Scorpio, so I'm assuming it's her birthday. And kind of just spread that out in my inner corner. Okay, I feel like that's pretty natural for a lunch look. <sighs> I really be doing the most for a lunch date, I feel. Now, going back into this palette, going into the blushes I just showed, I kind of dip into both just to get like that cute, like mixed color. And I kind of do that at the top. And then at the end, I'll bring it down to my cheekbones, but I kind of like to concentrate it right on top. And then with the excess that I just dipped from, um, I kind of just put that all over my nose and the cheeks right there. And then on the forehead and my chin, that tip is straight from Miss Kylie Jenner herself. I think she did in a Vogue um, interview. She was like, I like to put it on my forehead and my chin. And I was like, say less. Say less, sister. I'll do the exact same thing as you. Going into the highlighter, I go into usually this bottom one, just because the top one is a little bit more brighter. Again, almost for like a night look. And I feel like the gold one just gives you like a little shine. Always put some on your nose. Always. And then I kind of put some down my nose. And then I go in with like a super tiny brush into that same color i go into the corner of my eye and then a little bit under the brow am i missing anything 
lips. This is the look. I'm missing lip gloss, that's what I'm missing. But I don't even have my lip gloss with me, so I'm gonna go grab it, and then I'll be back, everyone. Okay, I got it. Now, I always, always go for the NYX Butter Gloss in Praline, my go-to lip color. You'll see, it is so cute. Why did I think I was done? I haven't even done my eyeliner or mascara. What the heck, Carolyn? Whenever I use the Butter Gloss, I usually line my lips with the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Sandstorm. Like, it's like basically a perfect match. I'm gonna do my lips and then my eyes, I guess. Ah, uh, I kinda wanna do my eyes first. Let's do my eyes. So I have both black and brown eyeliners and I feel like I aim towards brown for a natural look and black for like a more bold look. And I kinda wanna do black because I just feel like brown is not it today. Why did she look like that? What the heck? Okay, I think this is as best as my eyeliner is going to get. Then I just go in with the Telescopic Mascara by L'Oreal. I feel like I have zero eyelashes, so it really does not matter which mascara I use. Going in with the lip liner. Okay, now I'm gonna put on the lip gloss. Cool, I think that might be it. I think I'm gonna do my hair. I'm probably going to curl it though because straightening takes me a very long time and curling takes me like 30 minutes compared to like an hour if I straighten it. So I'm gonna put heat protectant in my hair and then curl it and then pick my outfit. Oh my gosh, let me, let me see what time it is. <laughs> okay, I can't really tell if the angle changed. I just checked the time and it's 12.50 everyone. If I want to leave here at like 1.10, that gives me 20 minutes. I'm not gonna be ready in 20 minutes. Sheesh. Uh, and I wasn't even warming up my curler. I feel like I moved the angle and it's really annoying me. Is that better? I don't know. I brushed out my hair. That's why it looks a little bit more frizzy. But um, usually when I curl my hair, I just put the top half in a bun while I do the bottom half and then alternate. But just brief tea, I'd say. Just share some tea with you guys. It's not even tea. It's information, I guess, about my date. Um, Not my boyfriend, if that's what you're thinking. I don't have a boyfriend. I feel like I've said this before. I've been single for a very long time. Um, I met a guy and we've been going on dates for like a month now. Today, yeah, I think this past week was like officially a month of knowing him and we've just been hitting it off. We've been on many dates. We try to hang out whenever we, uh, our schedules allow us to. But I, I don't know, there's not much else to tell because I just feel like I don't want to say something and then just regret it. Like, <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I'll jinx it. So don't want to say much, that's why. I have no idea. I don't know what people want to know. He's not from Oregon and neither am I. So that's something we kind of bonded over. Our first date, we went to a rooftop bar, which was very nice. And I feel like we've always just only ever seen each other um, at night, I'd say, because I mean, I guess that's like the best time to go on a date, like to get dinner and stuff. And I was telling him, I was like, you know what? I have never seen you in the afternoon. So we were like, you know what? Let's go out for lunch instead of dinner today. Yeah, I don't know. Honestly, I don't want to say much or jinx it and regret saying anything. But Halloween is coming up and we're thinking of doing like a joint costume, but nothing like a couple costume because we're not a couple. Halloween is on a Sunday this year. So that means technically Halloween weekend is gonna be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I actually want to vlog that weekend so I can show you all my outfits for every night, but to be determined. So if I do end up doing a costume with him, then maybe he will make the vlog, I don't know. I'm actually very excited for Halloween. The outfits are TBD, to be determined still, but I do want to do one. I don't know, I just really like coordinating outfits if that makes sense my sister's actually going to be in town for halloween so i keep trying to convince her to do a halloween costume with me as well and she's actually down we're just kind of trying to decide which outfit to do so 
again, TBD. You'll just have to stay tuned. I'm excited for that. I think you guys will really enjoy that vlog. I hope I enjoy the vlog. I hope I vlog. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna do my hair off camera so I can just hurry up and finish. And then I can show you the end result. And I honestly might pick out an outfit as well. Yeah, because I have no idea what I'm gonna wear. Okay, everyone. I think this is the look. Usually whenever I curl my hair, I don't like how like volumized it looks at my head. So I'll usually like add braids or something and then pin it back right here just for a cute little, honestly, I might do that. I don't know. Do you see what I mean? It just looks like too much volume on top. I might, let me show you what I usually do. But honestly, I kind of don't want braids currently. So I might do a twist and then pin it back. Let me do it on the other side. Twist. And they kind of loosen them. What do we think? You, can, you can't even see. <laughs> I don't like this light on top of me. Okay, I changed the angle a little bit. But yeah, this is the look, the hairstyle, the makeup look. Let me show you the outfit. I'm wearing this top. Um, it's from PacSun. And then I had two options for jackets. Both are corduroy options. There's this one, which is just like a regular collar corduroy and then this is a hooded jacket corduroy let me uh try both on i decided on the blue and here's why just like a little going out jacket you know i don't know it just didn't fit the vibe i wanted but then i was like i kind of like this one because it's just like a hooded casual cropped jacket see what i mean like it's just cute and simple here's the like the super silly part it's about 2 30 right now like i said we were supposed to meet at 1 30 but we ended up switching plans i let him know that i was running behind he's doing some errands or something and we're gonna meet up in like an hour i think so yeah that kind of worked out perfectly because i just finished getting ready so now i think i'm gonna just like work on homework until he's free but yeah let me know what you think i'm actually not feeling these twists i don't know why i can't tell you why but they're they're not what i want right now so we're gonna take that out i think we'll just go for the messy curl look Thanks for staying tuned this long, honestly. Some stuff I wanna talk about. I am getting very close to a thousand subscribers, which I'm so freaking excited about. I really appreciate everyone who watches and likes and comments. I have a fun video planned. I've already said what I'm gonna do, but if you don't know, then stay tuned because it's gonna be very exciting. I think that's gonna be it for this video because I should uh, go do stuff before I go out. Comment down below what you thought of my get ready with me. I'm the worst, honestly. I feel like I'm the worst vlogger, but yet you guys still love the vlogs. <laughs> Let me know. I thought this was fun. I just definitely think I need to do better because I suck at explaining anything. But if you found any of the tips helpful i'm very glad i hope you incorporate them into your own routine but yeah make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video i post every sunday so i will see you next week bye